Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Neil Ball from AS CAD Services. And um, what I'm going to discuss today is sequential numbering in general arrangement drawings, also in assembly drawings, and why you can have three or four general arrangement drawings with sequential numbering from one to four. Do your assembly drawings, go back to do another general arrangement drawing, and all of a sudden it's some random number. Uh, a bit annoying. And I'm going to explain why that happens and how you can uh, prevent it. So what we'll do first, I've got some cameras in here and I'm going to create some general arrangement drawings from the cameras. I've already numbered my model based on the start numbers. So I'm going to start my um, single part numbers at 100 and my assembly numbers at 1. So I've already numbered my model. Uh, we'll come back to that in a minute. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select these two cameras and I'm going to come down to selected cameras A3. You also look a bit different to that, but uh, you'll I'll do the same process. And I'm going to create two general arrangement drawings. And if all goes to plan, they'll be numbered 001, 002. What we're going to do, we're going to have a look at management tools in a minute. We'll just let it create the drawings. And I'll explain why it started at one <coughs> for the general arrangements, why it's going to start at one for assembly drawings by type. So for instance, B1, B2, B3, columns, C1, C2, C3. So here we are. Here are my two general arrangement drawings, one and two. One each for the cameras. We don't need to look at the detail of the drawing. So that's not relevant for this exercise, it's the number we're interested in. So I'm now going to select, I'm going to use uh, select similar, and I'm going to go back here to assemblies, and I'm going to create the assembly drawings for the beams and columns. No one mind, it won't create all of them, it's going to say here, it's not going to create these drawings because they're standalone parts, and I've set mine up to ignore the standalone assemblies because I've already detailed those as single parts or I will have done. It just saves me doubling up on the drawings, saves a lot of drawing time if you do that. Don't forget to issue the single part assemblies of course. Uh, okay, so we'll just let it do the assembly drawings a minute. Okay, and we'll go and have a look. And sure enough, what it's done is created the beams and it's numbered them sequentially, starting at one, because I said assemblies are going to start at one. So B1 to eight. And then it's put some bracing in. And you'll notice this is by model role. So this is a brace, one, two, three, then columns, C1, two, three, four, five. And there's my general arrangement drawings, one and two. So let's go to this camera now. And I'm going to go back to cameras and I'm going to go select to camera A2 and OK. Just let it create that. We'll have a look at the drawings again and have a look at the drawing numbering. And this is the point where you pull your hair out because all of a sudden the next GA is GA11. <clears throat> now, why has it done that? If I have a look at this B1, and I go into rename the drawing. You can see this is drawing number three. This is an internal database number. And you're probably aware that in a database, the reference in a database cannot be duplicated. So it must be a unique number. So when we got down to GA2 here, the drawing number was two. And then this is now drawing three. OK, so if I go down through the list, the next available number is 11. OK, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't know what happens here. But the next, oh, we've got a 3 there. 
What have we got here? We've got a three there. So what that's done, for each type here, it started from the last number of the general arrangements and it has started incrementing with an internal number of three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five. Three, four, five, six, seven. So the next available number after this 10 is 11. And so you can see that my general arrangement drawing is number 11. Okay. Right, so entirely not uh, what we wanted. We wanted the next GA to be number three. So what I'm going to do just for a minute, in fact, I'm not going to bother deleting those. we we'll delete those a different way. Okay, and we're going to have a look in management tools. And we're going to go to defaults. Now, you'll notice when I number my model, it used these defaults here. So I started the single part numbering at 100 and the assembly numbering at one. And we can see that in here, if we go into numbering, general, we can see I've got my start numbers here. Start numbering for single parts at 100, start numbering assemblies at one. I've got my preliminary number set at 2000. But, Here's the secret hidden setting. If we go under drawing general, general. We have a tick box here that says drawing numbering behavior. And with this tick, this is the one that says, start numbering by type. So it says here, if selected the drawing number assigned to each, I look back to read quick. If selected, the drawing number assigned to each detail drawing de starts depending on the type of detail, different for single part details, uh, for main part details, and for any other detail. If it's not selected, then it always starts with the drawing number start value. Okay, so what this does with this ticked, this is what causes it to do the numbering by type. So B1, B2, B3. C1, C2, C3, etc., etc. So this enables this. It also enables the other drawing types, the general arrangements, to be numbered sequentially starting with the start number. Now, when we were down here under numbering, this refers to the start number for the assemblies is one and the start number for the single parts is one. If I look under general, there's another hidden setting and it's going to find it. Just bear with me. Detail world, detail world, detail drawing number, drawing number, drawing. Start number for the drawing number, this one. You can see that's also at one. <clears throat> so now there's a conflict. We've got the assembly number starting at one, and we've also got the GA starting at one. So it's using that one, two, three sequence. Because I did the general arrangement drawings first, it numbered them correctly at one and two. Then I did the assembly drawings, which did the one, two, three, four, five, up to 10 for the, for the, for the beams. So the next available number in the sequence was 11. If I had 25 beams, the next sequence in the number that was available would be 26. So you can see the conflict. So what we can do, if I go back here and I say that the single part number started with 1000 and the assembly numbers will start at 100. This is just my default. So I can change this at numbering time using the numbering parameters. But if I set this as my default, it will be the same on every model. Once I've made these changes, I'm going to click load settings in advance. I'm not quite sure you need to do that in the later versions of advanced still, but uh, old habits, as they say. I've left my uh, general arrangement drawing starting at one because these are the ones I'm going to send to the engineer. And it's nice. It's, you know, if I send him something starting at 45, I could get the phone call saying, where are the other 44 nil? So it's nice to start the general arrangement drawings at one. The other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the home ribbon and I'm going to click on this little icon. It says update defaults. And I'm going to close this. What I'm going to do now, I'm 
to get rid of all of the data from the model, I'm going to go into uh, here. And this is the one we're playing with, this ASP area copy. And I'm just going to delete the entire subfolder. So that's all the drawings have gone, everything's gone. The other thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to denumber this just to be absolutely sure. I'm just going to denumber this. Now, if you're not sure about denumbering, I'll just explain this. We've got a switch here and the default is set to single part. If I click this, it will toggle to main part. So that's assembly. And if I toggle it again, it will change to preliminary and back to single part. We've got two buttons here. One says delete the part numbers. And the second button says ungroup the identical parts. So what the system does, as you know, when we number the model, it looks for identical parts and it gives them an identical part number. Unless we have the box tick that says you need numbers for everything. But uh, we only play with that tick box on your mate's computer when he's cleared off to the toilet. And we put the tick box in unique number for single parts. <laughs> And then, uh, anyway, right, so I digress. So to denumber the entire model, if I don't select anything and I click on this, it will take out the numbering for the entire model. If I just had one part selected and I denumber it, it would just take the numbering off for the one part. But we're going to denumber the whole model. So I'm going to click on that. Yes, I want to do that. And I'm going to ungroup all the identical parts. Yes. I'm going to change to assembly numbering now because I need to do it again for the assemblies. Delete all the numbering. And again, ungroup. I'm going to save my model. OK. I'm now going to renumber the model. But I'm going to renumber based on our new numbering uh, parameters. So I'm going to set this at 1,000. And I'm going to set the assemblies at 100. Because I set that as a default, incidentally, if I close down advanced it and restart it, this would then come up. OK, so I'm apply that. I'm going to say OK. And we are now going to renumber our model. So I have already done that. OK, so uh, here we are. And we can see if I click on here, we've now got B100. Let's do that the other way up. B100 instead of B1, B101, B102. So it's following that new sequence of numbers starting with the assemblies at 100. The single parts have started at 1,000. I'm not going to do the single part drawings. So let's do the entire exercise again. So I'm going to select these two cameras, drawing processes, selected cameras A2. Don't forget, in my management tools, I have got general arrangement drawing numbers starting at 1. So all things being equal, we should still have the one and two. So we just do that quickly. I say quickly. Depends how big the drawings are, I suppose. Okay. We need some background music while it's doing this bit. So let's have a look here. One and two. Okay. All things good so far. So what we do, I'm going to select similar again, and we'll do the assembly drawings, and I'll use A3 single bomb on that, and OK. It hasn't done these, of course, because they are standalone parts, and I've got it set in management tools. Don't do the assembly drawings for standalone parts, or standalone assemblies, beg your pardon. You can make up your own background music for this part while we're waiting. It would hum you a tune, but I can't even hum a tune probably. Whistling. Don't even scare me on whistling. Okay, here we go. Document Manager, sequential numbers for the assemblies. And again, perfectly correct. Starting at our new start number for assemblies, which was 100. 100, 101, 102, blah, 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 blah. Okay. If I look at this now, there that. The drawing number is 100. So if I look at bracing, 100. 
So anything pre-100 is still available to us. So if I close this, we do the last bit of the exercise, which is go back to cameras. And I'm going to go select today too, which is this camera. And I'm going to go OK. As if by magic, this should be 003. Ta -da. So there it is. OK. So what makes the difference is the start numbers. I'm always going to start my GAs at one. Now, you have to decide if you only ever do 10 GAs at the very most, you can start your assembly numbering at 11. But what you need to do is leave a sequence of numbers clear at if you're going to start at one, two, three. Or if I'm going to start at 10,000, it wouldn't make any difference. It's unlikely I'll ever get to 10,000. So all my GAs will start 10,000 and something, you know, 10,001, 10,002. But because I want them at the front, I need to leave a space. I need to leave a space for my general arrangement drawing. So as I said, if you only do three or four, you can start your numbering for assemblies at 10, for instance. So you're going to have the available one to nine for your general arrangement drawings. I hope that's clear and you can understand that. So again, I set mine as a default, so my numbering system is always the same, and I do that in two places. So we look under uh, numbering, general, and these numbers here control the assembly numbering start number and the single part start number. The other one, the important one, comes under drawing general, and this one is the start number for, again, I was up and down several times before I find it. But this one here is the start number for the drawing numbers. This one will affect the general arrangement drawings. And you can set that as a default as well. The other important thing to click is the uh, drawing number behavior. This one here, which gives you that sequential one, two, three on the type of object. So that's it. For this video, we're finished on this video. I hope that's uh, just expanded your knowledge a little bit more and help you um, get the uh, drawing numbering that uh, you desire. Thanks for your time. Till next time, be safe during the lockdown. Hopefully it'll be over soon and we can all get back down the pub. Until then, uh, stay safe, stay indoors and uh, speak to you again soon. Goodbye.